Troubleshooting an engine has long been a challenge for a technician. With the introduction of Waukesha ESM and ESM2 engine control systems, we now have a better way with eHelp. What is eHelp? eHelp is a software-based technical troubleshooting tool that is incorporated into Waukesha ESM and ESM2 control systems. Rather than having to rely on making sure that the correct diagrams, manuals, and tools are available, eHelp uses the communication with the engine sensors and systems to uncover engine performance irregularities prior to engine damage. eHelp allows a user to view faults and alarms as well as shutdown codes while it methodically searches throughout the circuits and components to identify both where the fault exists and how to repair it. A version of eHelp was developed for the ESM engines that began service in 2001. ESM systems are used on the VGF, VHP, 275GL, and APG engine families. Visually, these engines can be identified by the white ECU, or engine control unit, mounted on the side of the engine. Reference our engine system identifier for assistance in identifying which specific system you have. The ESM eHelp system uses the same ESP software that is used to interface with the ECU. Waukesha's customer portal, customer.ineo.com, is the source for downloading the most up-to-date version of the software. As a backup plan, if the ESP disk that originally came with the engine is still with the engine, go ahead and use it. ESM engines with ESP software must be connected to the engine via a laptop to establish a direct link to the engine system fault and alarm, as well as shutdown codes. However, other methods are also available to access ESM eHelp when connection to an engine ECU is not available. Later generations of the ESM systems may have a 5 or 8 button human machine interface, or HMI, that will access fuel and emissions based adjustments. The latest generation of engine controls from Waukesha, ESM2, was introduced in 2016. ESM2 uses an integrated touchscreen computer HMI, or human machine interface. Visually, the ESM2 control can be identified as a black ECU on the side of the engine. This control is used on the VHP, 275GL+, and some VGF models. Also reference the engine system identifier for assistance in identifying the engine's control system. With ESM2, you don't require any additional software or passcodes to access the eHelp software you do have the ability to access added laptop functionality with the Diane XT4 client software that can be downloaded from the website listed on screen. ESM2 eHelp features a step-by-step -step troubleshooting guide with added graphic-based component location assistance. It also has a keyword search and zoom functionality. This allows the user to really see where the harness pins are located on that diagram. Now it's time for some demonstrations. ESM, often referred to as ESM1, eHelp can be accessed in different ways based on the age and software generation. Linked videos in this series will show some of the variations. Note, not all codes are stored on the ECU, but the troubleshooting steps for each code are present in the eHelp software. For this ESM introduction, we've selected fault 441. Our screen is using a 2006 vintage VHP L7044GSI running the base ESM system without a fuel control system. The throttle circuit has connections between the ECU and the throttle actuator. Here we can see the connectors on pins 27, 24, 18, and 16 from the pink power distribution harness. Pin 3 from the ECU power harness, and pins 1, 2, 7, 8, and 9 on the yellow power distribution harness that all lead to A through J pins on the actuator. 
As we work through the checklist, we can see that the actuator should have 24 volts DC between pins A and H, as well as which wires, pins, and harnesses make up the connection to the actuator. With the use of the electrical meter continuity, voltage, and ohm measurement tests, the source for the fault can be discovered. Similar troubleshooting exists for all system codes. The source for this fault was that we disconnected the throttle harness from the actuator to keep the noise down while recording this video. ESM2 eHelp is accessible on the HMI directly, or it can be accessed on site via a laptop with the appropriate software. It has a similar set of faults, but they are unique to the ESM2 system and all contain four digits. Select the fault from the alarm screen and then select the PDF icon to launch ESM2 eHelp. As we select the engine family and cylinder count, we can see in this example, a 2020 vintage VHP L7044 GSI, the fault code 2015. Paging through the troubleshooting steps, we see updated graphics, search functions, and zoom features. ESM2 also benefits from multi-year data collection for extended trending, graphing, parameter programming changes, and more. This data can be filtered or searched for based on time, user, or system. eHelp for ESM and ESM2 can now be accessed remotely through the MyPlant subscription service via mobile and remote devices. MyPlant allows for remote monitoring and predictive analysis to keep your engine running at its best with less downtime. Linked videos will show the methods for connecting to this tool based on your engine control system.